Hello? Hello, my name is Yona. Yona, I am from Precinct Machine. I'm I'm a founder of the company. Um, let me tell you a brief story right now. Um, a couple of years back, um, I was sitting at the at the forum of the Open Group responsible for security for the IoT, um, and discussion over there was it is really very difficult to, to manage it for so many. Near, for there are so many devices are various, and it could be get into the millions, billions, etc. So um, we did have experts there from from a, the various aspects of the field, and we were trying to bring all different protocols and standards um, into into the the new upcoming Open Group standard. And uh, one of the ideas, questions which was brought up is asking, is it really possible to assure um, IoT uh, swarm um, against a security uh, uh, breach or to, or to make it compliant with a, with a security? And the consensus was no. So. Um, I mean, it was actually kind of a very provoking question, and um, and basically the goal of our company right now is to prove it wrong, and actually we were able to uh, create, invent a technology which can assure security for unlimited number of devices. Um, I mean, a same story was with with databases a few years back. It used to be hierarchical. And, and then suddenly they were all growing in size, and the only way to possible to do it was through the, the set operation B3, etc. Informix was born, Oracle, etc. So it is possible to address a problem and to change it to the um, frame of mind. I mean, OpenStack is actually a huge step um, in IT infrastructure and not only in IT infrastructure. The way we understand OpenStack, it is actually a distributed OS which, which is capable to recreate unlimited amount um, of resources and to manage them in traditional way through the policy managed by the asset, through the SELs, the same that was done um, in data centers before, is, is truly impossible. So uh, what is our approach is um, is to pristine machine approach is is to uh, create a policy and find a way of how it could be distributed and to embed it into the each node. Uh, we were able to apply it um, before uh, OpenStack operating system um, just as well on the end nodes, um, Windows, Linux. ARM, Android, and we are actually thinking also to embed it into the, um, into the micro, micro devices as well. Um, so when we looked at the OpenStack, we were looking, uh, we were trying to keep OpenStack OpenStack so that every API is still possible, all of the vendors' equipment it would still work with it. So the, a client of the OpenStack can choose the best. What that required was to find uh, an API which is possible to run and to manage every single node. And such API which we chose, it was actually bare metal API. So obviously, not every OpenStack cloud is a bare metal cloud. So, uh, what, but we were able to actually use OpenAPMI and uh, we are also injecting our own OS, very thin OS, with para virtualization under every node. And we can actually, with a very simple install, which we'll show you um, in a bit, we can actually um, inject that policy into the every node and to assure that every single node of the open stack, whether it is a, a compute node or, or storage node, is compliant. Um, with the policy chosen. 
So, uh, um, so, 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 I mean, if you would um, try to look at type of policies, so, so I mean, let's look at, at how we are actually doing it on, on, on a picture. So, on, on a picture, we have a cloud, OpenStack cloud. And then, after they install around every node um, of the OpenStack, we, we do have a thin layer. Um, it is our pristine OS. But, but, to ad, but to admin of the cloud, it is just still the same OpenStack cloud. It still has the same APIs, same upgrades, et cetera, Linux, Fedora, Ubuntu. Um, I mean, it still all works because of injection of our layer. So um, one of our backgrounds before, and, and we are uh, not a company of just youngsters. We do have a youngsters also as well. Um, we do have some old people who, um, who are, uh, were involved in the in infrastructure of large companies, different IT projects. Um, I mean, I worked for a, uh, at, at GM Hosting. Uh, one of our uh, encryption um, guru is actually uh, a white beard of the IETF, and he is actually co-author of the a regional <laughs> internet spec um, and inventor of a uh, Wi-Fi and the as as the the things as well. His name is Robert Moskowitz. Um, we we also got input um, from um, different people in in field and uh, say security org of the Freedom Tower, and we did uh, got some input. Um, very important input into a swarm, swarm, swarm computing from uh, people um, at the, the, the Berkeley and, uh, and MIT. So, I mean, our goal is to make, uh, is to create, uh, is to create a, a very transparent layer, but making sure that it is not a niche solution that it could actually cover all policy needs um, of company. And then that could be, be, be customized and injected into the, our pristine OS layer. So, I mean, if you look at, 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 the, at the deploy process, I mean, what we see right now um, in um, OpenStack, it uses TFTP, uh, different protocols, and those are not secure. And even so, it is possible to segregate it into a network. I mean, our entire goal is assured, is assured security. So, I mean, every protocol, every action is actually assured, encrypted, and it is uh, fully <laughs> automated. We'll show in a demo that it is very easy to, uh, to install. So, so, I mean, if you look at the original bare metal <laughs> deploy, it is done from a console. It does call TFTP, and in prep, Somebody has to create all of the VX lands and to, to all of the other things. So I mean, basically, we take the same process, and it's still a push of the button from a Horizon console, but we are encrypt all of the, the, the traffic, create all of the subnets, etc. Um, so, what are major advantages? Major, I mean, we do have. A, a different policies and the, the use cases, but the two <laughs> most common one and which are in the in use is, is actually in an encryption of traffic, uh, pr protection traffic in data in transit, even if it is going uh, over the internet between a different uh, cloud or the, the different nodes, and and the other one is to if we do have a, a data. Uh, of company which is classified, it should be state classified and not be able to to leak it outside. So I mean, we can actually create policies of such that um, any node of the ecosystem with that data will not be able to leak it outside of the the ecosystem. Um, deployment it itself is extremely easy. I mean, if we'll just run it right now, we'll show it to you. I mean. At first, we're just logging 
into our console. It is, a, it is all common. I mean, all these things is not really pristine things. It, it, it is just OpenStack admin stuff. To check it, existed in instances. It is right now all empty. It is a, the new uh, dev stack. So we do the same from a console as well. It will be in a, in a second. And as you see, it is all brand new OpenStack right now, which will have our image installed there. Image, image of our pristine OS, which will be injected into the each now. So I mean, right now it is all empty, and right now we'll do, we'll do a deploy, and we'll actually show what happens in the the backend because I mean, from user really, it, it is only choose a new node, install it, and it will just install itself. So I mean, right now we'll check the agent and its logs. We do have logging of all of the activity possibly for a morning as, as required. So, uh, so I mean, it is a tail of bare metal tell, tell de <laughs> deploy. It is right now kicking off. And right now, we, it is a change. We did create a, a node, and it is a fully inter integrated into the both network, which is a private, private, private and management network as well. So right now we are just just connecting to our agent to just see what's happening there. And it's just a login, and it is all will be on console right away. Launching a new new instance. It's same process as anybody anybody is doing. It's not like a custom dashboard for the. I mean, it, it is just for admin. It's just a plain open stack. Choose a network. Launch a few more logs, wait, and that, that, that will be done basically. So, I mean, for a user, it is a pure OpenStack, pure OS, right? Checking it, but on policy level, it is all assured. I mean, policy, it is not on the same network, it, it, it's not physically available both to a guest OS. And uh, one of the um, big, big achievements of the, our R&D, even so it is the multi-layer multi OS, um, loss of speed is like only, only, only a few percent t t touch point on the, z z z z z on network's uh, side, because it is a pass-through. So 
so and it, we just seen it is being done. And that's it pretty much. Uh, so, so, OK, so um, basically what we are uh, trying to achieve is to make OpenStack uh, uh, simple, simple and the enterprise ready. So I mean, if there are any new questions, just we'll, we'll answer it right now or maybe afterwards. So I mean, it is installed. It's finished. We'll log in afterwards, and then that will have everything installed. Memory use. I mean, I mean. Okay. Thank you very much.